Yeah, yeah when I'm on in here. Yeah. Westmoreland, yeah. Jamaica. I want to send a message out there you know, to the, the local youth them of Jamaica where I get themselves in a problem from what they are. So, over the station there, I went to Westmoreland. I don't want a man to get themselves in a problem and chop up my body and, a, and, a, and, a, and a create a problem for themselves and a call a young man phone, brother. And a beg, beg man, nothing, dog. Man never send him to get himself in a problem, youth. You can't get up every day a, 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 a create problem. Because no job no there and you don't know if you want to own in Jamaica. You don't know if you want to own down here. You don't vote in landslide victory and now you don't suffer and not take out no problem them from people. And you don't chop up people and shut up people and rape the little young girl them. And I go to prison and then I you know, call up call up people phone and I reach a jail and prison. I no call nobody phone, brother, wall out and no stress down there. Yeah, tell you know that. You see me? I went in the road and I wall in the one. And I stop the fuckery. You see me? Yeah. Cause it no work that way there. You understand? Just wall in the head up you out. Wall in the one. And I stop go out there, go create problem for yourself. Because problem come with it, you have to hold it. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one, a blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning here to all of the ones and ones them traversing to church, please remember on the Spot News Media's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. Can I don't see your earth around, Jano jam down around red. So we definitely need the prayers now more than ever. So as always, my peeps, we have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so we can get a full understanding and a better appreciation everything we are going in a Jamaica. So we are going to kick it off this morning with a brazen daylight robbery at a bar over there in Kitson Town. So that is the St. Catherine North Police Division. A place where them call all road my peeps. May I tell you, the old dirty corner boy them strike again. <laughs> yeah man. So we are going to definitely ask the regular members of John Public in the general uh, Kitson Town area vicinity, all road, if them know them all dirty criminal elements here. Yeah. yeah, man, point them out to the police. So on your screen is uh, the robbery in progress. I want to know watch carefully as I narrate. So on your screen is a CCTV camera footage of the actual robbery. Now, uh, this man walking towards the bar in the yellow shirt. He was used as the decoy to go inside the bar and to, you know, pretend to be a customer and to distract the bartender and or the owner inside the bar. Now, uh, this other person is also one of their accomplices. And uh, that other one that walked in the opposite direction is also another of their accomplices. This person presently on your screen. So you can see say boy and they are if and a but and a go on and a try to pretend like all is well. I try to scope out the place to make sure it's in a bad in a spot where I go on. But anyway, it would seem as if that car right there going along saw what was going on and obviously kept going. So anyway, them go inside the bar and them push up the bar door so nobody can pass and see say boy action a go on from the inside. So my peeps, the thing definitely serious. Anyway, make we move on. So as I can see in this next video footage, one of the criminal elements, them, the perpetrators of the crime, a step out of the man place with a bottle of Hennessy in him hand. As I can see, like him walk with a little limp, like a little shot foot type of thing. Yeah, man. 
So anyone know the one who walk like him get a can in his foot, please alert the police and make them know what go on. Now in this clip in, you can see where the one that they used as a decoy in the first clip have the owner under gunpoint to escort him down the stairs. Now behind them, you are going to see one of them a take out a game box out of the people in place. You see how them boy a beer face and if yeah man me I tell you broad daylight the man them a walk dirty and murky. Well we definitely glad also to inform you the regular members of Chan Public that the owner of the premises was eventually released unharmed. So we definitely give thanks for that. But notwithstanding them dirty criminal elements they need to be taken off the streets. But anyway my peeps, make we continue. So we are going to talk about another sad, heartbreaking and tragic loss of life that went on over there in the parish of Manchester. A section of Manchester called Ramble to be exact that took place on the 29th of April back in 2014. Yes, some may say, but this is an old case on the Spot News Media. Very old case indeed, but that just goes to show how slow our criminal justice system is because the perpetrator of that crime was convicted yesterday in the home circuit court and sentenced. Now, let me give you a full breakdown of this story so you can get a better understanding of what I talk about. Now, Mark Henry, 56 year old, a Manchester farmer who brutally took the life of the mother of his child and her two sons, one of which was his own child. He was ordered yesterday to serve 49 years and 6 months in prison before he is eligible for parole. Now these are the victims of that wicked and brutal act presently on your screen. Nadine Caradice, her 11-year-old son, Roshane Ellis, and her 16-year-old son, Javan Thomas, they were all found with multiple knife wounds all over their bodies to include their necks. Yeah, man, may I tell you, the man deal with the thing grimy. Now, Caradice and Thomas had multiple injuries to their bodies. The court was also told that Javan Thomas was the child of Mark Henry and Nadine Caradice, who was also married. I don't know how they work out or something there because the last name of the perpetrator of the crime is Henry and the last name of the 16-year-old child is Thomas. So I don't know how they work out that part right there. Anyways, my peeps, the bodies of the deceased were found outside their home in Ramble, Manchester on April 29, 2014. Henry was last month convicted of three counts of loss of life following a trial in the Manchester Circuit Court. However, he was sentenced yesterday in the Home Circuit Court by Justice Lana Shelley Williams. The judge sentenced Henry to three life sentences for each count of loss of life. He was also ordered to serve 49 years and 6 months in prison on each count with the sentences to run concurrently. Henry has maintained his innocence despite his convictions and the overwhelming amount of evidence placed before the courts against him. It was further told by a probation officer that Henry had no remorse. Summer peeps, this is really sad and tragic because domestic abuse, domestic differences, domestic violence is definitely becoming a worrying trend in our country. And this also shows how slow our criminal justice system is. This incident took place in 2014. Now is 2022, my peeps. That rough. That is eight years, eight long years before we could come to some sort of closure 
in a matter that was presented before the courts in 2014. Come on, Jamaica. We really need to do better. But anyway, make we continue. So still in the parish of Manchester, a criminal suspect has been taken into police custody after a man get a portion to knife up knife up wounds resulted in the loss of life of that said person. During a dispute in the community of Three Chains just on the outskirts of Mandeville, Manchester, a reliable source stated that the dispute was over $400 that was owed by the victim. So can you imagine my peeps a man end up losing three pints over four bills? Choked thing may I tell you. The deceased has since been identified as 39-year-old Kevin Neal, otherwise called Catfish, a resident of Landscraper in Three Chains District. So the police reports as it relates to that particular incident states that about 8.30 p.m. Neil was at a shop in the Three Chains era when a man confronted him. An argument developed between both men allegedly over the money that was owed, the $400 that is. Police sources also stated that the aggressor used a ratchet knife to inflict a lot of wounds all over the man's body who was pronounced you know what at the hospital the suspect was arrested following the incident now the statistics from the manchester police shows that up to october 8 the south central parish recorded 46 loss of life since the start of the year when compared to 21 for the corresponding period last year so basically manchester double up the thing for the loss of life thing <laughs> yeah man may i tell you so that is definitely a worrying concern for manchester and also their neighboring parish of saint elizabeth so my peeps make we continue so over there in the second most murderous parish when time i said that you know, don't know where me at about westmoreland for sure a popular westmoreland bike taxi operator get a potion to can to him skin yeah man may i tell you and also his male pillion was also injured during that knockings and clappings over there in a place with them called peggy barry main road in grangel so the deceased has been identified as 30 year old kirk wilson otherwise called scrappy of peggy barry district in grangel Whilst the injured passenger who is still in the hospital in stable condition is said to be a 46-year-old mason of racecourse in Grangel. The police report states that about 7 a.m. the mason chartered Wilson to transport him to a location in Grangel. It is further reported that whilst travelling along the roadway there were ambush and a whole heap of can start beating their direction. Yeah man the old dirty can boy them strike again. Wilson received a portion of can up can up wounds to his upper body and later lost his life same place upon the spot whilst the passenger get a portion to can all boto but he was transported to the hospital where he is still admitted in serious but stable condition also in the westmoreland police division since the start of the year close to 120 persons has lost their lives courtesy of the criminal elements plaguing all of westmoreland trust me every nook and cranny every cribbis and corner of westmoreland murky right you now the dirty corner boy them loose yeah man may i tell you so anyway my peeps safe travel pan the gravel look out on the corner yeah because remember the old dirty corner boy them always out the alerts so anyway remember to like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts on the spot news media yeah man